Good evening and welcome to News 10 on my Fox 10. The Indiana General Assembly wrapped up its 2023 session at around 2.30 this morning. One of the items discussed was the state education budget plan. Hoosier families, students and teachers could see changes due to this budget. News 10's Caleb Bryant spoke with Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch about what this budget means for Indiana school districts. K through 12 education makes up almost half of Indiana's budget and legislators are saying that this year holds some historic investments. Around $1 billion or about 10% more money was put into the K through 12 education system. Around a half a billion dollars was put into vouchers for private schools. Continue to recognize and continue to address the fact that every child is different and we need to have choices for our children to be able to get the kind of education that they need that prepares them for the jobs of today and tomorrow. On Wednesday, the Republicans announced an original plan to use $500 million of a $1.2 billion budget for K-12 funding for two years. Some Democrats criticized this plan, saying too much money was going towards school vouchers, taking away from public schools. An updated plan tacked on around $300 million raising the total to around $1.5 billion. This would help account for public and private school funding. With these investments, Lieutenant Governor Crouch says that teachers could also see some changes. Some of this money that has been put in place, additional money, we're hoping that that gets back to the teachers in terms of the salaries so that every teacher has at least an average of $60,000 or more for starting salary. There has also been discussion about parents having to pay for textbooks. Governor Eric Holcomb proposed that the money for purchasing textbooks would come out of a line item. Lieutenant Governor Crouch says that this was passed. For parents of K-12 students, they no longer have to pay textbook fees, and that is huge. We were one of seven states that still required parents to pay tax textbook fees and that actually will put hundreds of dollars back into the parents pockets. We have reached out to the Vigo County School Corporation to see how much money they will be receiving. As of airtime, they did not have an exact number and will be holding a meeting on Monday for some more clarification. We'll have more information on the impact on Wabash Valley Schools early next week. Reporting in the newsroom, Kayla Bryant, News 10.